are you traditionally published or an indie author or a hybrid or both? I, I'm a bit of a hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, my career actually started in media mm -hmm. uh, in 87. So it's been a few years. Mm -hmm. So I actually started that path. I had some small stuff traditionally published back in those days. I got out of fiction for a long period of time, got back into it about eight years ago, and I've had uh, both hybrid. Depends on what it is, okay. but I go both ways. Okay, okay. Um, and how many books do you have available right now, or maybe in the near future? Uh, that are currently available, I think it's a total of eight. Uh, we have a couple that were supposed to come out this year that are on hold, um, but and that's a mixture of fiction and nonfic. Mm -hmm. Um, but in the fiction realm, I think it's currently eight mm. um, with or if, I don't remember if the last one has dropped yet or not for this year. OK, because uh, we haven't started promotion for it. Mm -hmm. And are all available on Kindle and print and audiobook format? Kindle and print. We're working on the audiobook versions for a number of them right now. Um, audio is one of those things that has been back and forth i actually have done some narration and audiobook work i'm not doing my own except for the the business essentials book for writers i am doing the narration for that one but i've done narration work for other people mm -hmm. uh, i just brought on a couple of new narrators uh, that we're using for a couple of clients that will be narrating several of my series so mm -hmm. which kind of brings up a point uh another question that is um you actually have a service some kind of corporation or company that uh, that helps other authors um, get publicity for their work, uh, which if you could talk about that a little bit. Sure. So it's a company I started by accident. Um, it's called Author Essentials. It, it started out purely as an education and, and workshops type company. Um, and going back about five or six years ago, I would have friends in the business come and say, you're one of those weird business techie people. Mm. Um, and by profession, I do a lot of consulting work for everything from small businesses to fortune fifties. So that's my main day life is not e even the author services side of the stuff we're talking about here, but it all sort of ties together. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of people asking me questions. And so as that happened, I started pulling it together. It became a website where I could just point people to, which then ultimately became the, the business essentials book you can see behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's more coming in that series. Well, we were doing, and I teach a lot of workshops. I'm working on converting a couple of things over to be live online workshops right now. And so about a, two years ago, uh, there were a number of people I was working with who had all either long-term been independent consultants or we're trying to shift over to being independent consultants as so many areas of the, the publishing indus industry have collapsed. Mm -hmm. And I started trying to uh, doing a little bit of business work in the background, helping them convert it. And so the next thing was we could, we turned uh, Author Essentials not only from a workshops company into a services company as well. Primarily up until um, early this year, we were primarily dealing with people that were inside of our own network. It was kind of a, a bit of an incestuous thing of everybody was a known quantity and you know, we were handling all the business services in between. This year we were planning to roll out the public services side of it and we started doing that and then this fun little thing hit and we have no more conventions and a lot of people sort of went on uh, hiatus. But Despite that, we've actually been growing and providing niche services, but uh, it's pretty much anything you need, covers, editing, um, and that's everything from developmental editing, writer coaching, to line edits, to you know, proofing. Uh, we do audio proofing. We're doing narration work now. Uh, websites, web development, hosting, uh, promotion services, marketing. Uh, it's one of those things that we're, we don't take everybody that comes in the door. We look for people that are a good fit for both the, the people that I work with and for the type of people we do. But it, we primarily uh, have, and a lot of this came out of a prior company I had where we did a lot of work for consultants, speakers, things like that, to help them craft book packages, speaking packages, uh, and that total presence. We still do that, but now we're also bringing in the fiction line and working with one of my with a couple of my partners on creating an academic line as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so that can be found at authoressentials.net and authoressentialsworkshops.com is currently down as we're moving platforms, uh, but should be back up in the next week or two. Uh, the first course we have back out there is Path to Publication with John Hartness. 
Uh, I'm getting ready to start offering the business essentials workshop that I do uh, through that as well. There's both kind of many versions of that that are freebie workshops. And then there's a much more intensive uh, I do that as, as well. So okay. it's it's kind of an across the board. And generally, if somebody needs it and we don't do it, I know somebody who does. And a lot of the time, if somebody comes to us and they're not a good fit, I'm very happy to refer them to, over to other people I know in the business um, to do that. So it's not a, you know, come on, come all. We're going to take every, you know, every dollar that comes in. Mm-hmm. How do people get a hold of you if they want to get a hold of you for, say, for your services, uh, of your promotional services? So if you want to get a hold of us as a company, uh, you can come by authoressentials.net. Uh, you can also shoot me an email at jim in at authoressentials.net. Um, if you're looking for me as an author, you can come by jamespnettles.com. That will get you to the nonfiction me, and it will also get you to the fiction me, which is uh, Jim McDonald or James P. McDonald, which is one of the main names I write fiction under these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's jim McDonald.net. Um, and then last but not least, you can come find us at the Continual Convention. Um, I am one of the founders, along with uh, Gail Z. Martin and John Hartness. Uh, we founded and created Continual Convention uh, as an idea we've been playing with for several years. And then when everything went into lockdown, uh, John and I got a text from Gail one morning that said, I-, I did a thing, are you guys in? And we knew exactly what she meant because we've been playing with the idea. Mm-hmm. And so the Continual Convention is an online convention. You can find online panels. Uh, We do several shows a week. Uh, We do one called The Panel Room, which is a a topic show. We usually have anywhere between two, three, four, five, eight experts in a field. Uh, We've done everything about how to get published to writing craft to uh, talking about writing vampires. Um, Then you can come by and check out the uh, Hot Off the Press which is another show that we do, which is um, a new releases show, which we do every week. We're in the process now of starting up a new comic show. Uh, that's going to be headed up by Nancy Northcott. Um, I have a couple of shows that I do, one of which is Books and Beer, uh, that I guess I'll, at some point I'll get back off of hiatus when I've got time. And my other show is Creating Prose. Uh, Creating Prose is, where I, is, a, is typically an interview show where I talk to different professionals in creative craft. Um, and I show up all sorts of different places and I'm behind on keeping my websites up to date because we've been working (laughs) all sorts of client stuff. So, okay. Sounds like you've been massively busy. Um, and then if you're looking for the consulting me because you've got other creative businesses, uh, or even not so creative businesses, we do work with tech companies, green tech, all sorts of different things. Uh, you can reach me there as well or go to VulcanForgeConsulting.com. Okay, okay. Well, I sure appreciate you taking the time for the interview. It was great stuff. Um, no, I appreciate uh, appreciate you having me on. It's good to catch up. It's been a few years. Mm-hmm. Um, so I definitely appreciate you having me on. 